take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. The law defines 35 offenses as constituting racketeering, including gambling, murder, kidnapping, arson, drug dealing, bribery. Significantly, mail and wire fraud are included on the list. These crimes are known as predicate offenses. Take our lead. Do I have to stay in jail after indictment? It depends. There's no hard and fast rule that covers whether or not someone must remain in jail after being indicted. This decision is made early in the trial process at a bond hearing. Let's help you make your mark. There are a number of potential defense strategies a skilled criminal defense attorney can use to defeat a RICO charge, including the following. You did not commit or conspire to commit the crimes in question. Your actions were not of a criminal nature. Make your mark, take our lead. Nonviolent crime committed by employees in the course of their occupation is defined as white collar crime. Such crimes include fraud, bribery, Ponzi schemes, embezzlement, insider trading, cybercrime, intellectual property infringement, racketeering, money laundering, identity theft, and forgery, etc. Let's help you make your mark. A more expansive view holds that in order to be found guilty of violating the RICO statute, the government must prove beyond a reasonable doubt. 1. That an enterprise existed. 2. That the enterprise affected interstate commerce. 3. That the defendant was associated with or employed by the enterprise. 4. That the Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.